What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Bills and today we're bringing you the all new 2023 Dodge Hornet GT Plus trim and we're going to be talking about the exterior, interior and specs in this in-depth review here at Vagabond Builds today, but before we do, because it's not a sponsored video and we truly appreciate you guys' support. And if you guys do like our content, there's two buttons we like you guys to push. That is the like button, subscribe to our channel. And if you got some for us to film, here's our email below. Email us and we can talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Auto Nation Dodge here at the Roseville Auto Mall in Roseville, California for providing us this beautiful Dodge Hornet for this review. Now guys, stay tuned, keep watching. We're dro dropping that MSRP sticker so you guys get an idea of exactly what comes on the car and the price tag on top. Now let's go ahead and start this in-depth review and talk Dodge Hornet. So now let's kick this video off with talking some specs about this exact all new 2023 Dodge Hornet. Now, in this exact car, you have the 2.0 liter Hurricane 4 turbo engine that gives you 268 horsepower with 295 pound speed of torque with a nine speed automatic transmission, but you can upgrade to the 1.3 liter four cylinder plug-in hybrid that they say or Dodge says that you will be getting 30 plus to the gallon, okay? So that's something to take into consideration. Now, how do you guys feel about this being turbo and how do you guys feel about this all new 2023 Dodge Hornet with all this power, 268, 295 pounds feet of torque? They literally say also that the plug-in hybrid comes with more spunk. But let's go ahead and talk all new front end of this Dodge Hornet and this blue steel exterior paint with the piano black gloss trim and grills, LED lighting, we left those hazards on. So you guys get an idea of how it looks. These are also your daytime running lights on this Dodge, Dodge Hornet, sorry, Dodge Hornet. Sorry, it's a kind of a tongue twister. But here in this hood itself, you have kind of that sporty, aggressive look with these cuts here in the piano black that actually allows airflow to come into that engine compartment area. Dropping down, Dodge with the black gloss grill. Now we do see that this is kind of a Dodge staple coming in from like the Dodge Chargers or Challengers or whatnot. The camera integration in the front and the lower grill in that same exact look, just a little bit bigger on that lower side with finishing off that bumper cover and that blue steel. Now coming over to the side, get a load of what this looks like. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it looks like a European kind of Somebody told me that it kind of resembles the Porsche Macan, but I don't typically see it, maybe from the rear end. But a little bit about the length, width, and height in this car. Talking length is 178 inches, width 82 inches, and a 64 inch in height with an eight inch ground clearance is what we're getting on this Dodge Hornet. Now, again, this is that kind of crossover that we do see that they're coming in to the market with the Dodge Hornet. Now, yes, they had certain other SUVs that they kind of stated that were crossovers, but again, this is literally the crossover for that midsize SUV. Matte black plastic trim around the wheel wall. Now, this does take a beating down the line. Let's talk tires and rims. Black gloss rim, one color, and what are they running? They're running Goodyear Eagle Sports all seasons, and the size is a 225-55-18. Here goes your suspension and that typical shock with the spring suspension. The Hornet sign itself, letting you know that this is a Hornet in the black. Same black uh, color to come together with that front trim or front look. Bringing it all together like that, that Dodge did that. That LED integration signal lighting system with a camera integrated here. So you're getting that 360 view on this GT Plus trim. You have the keyless fob entry with that button. There goes your trim on that rocker panel area, how it looks, okay? With the black gloss going around the windows. Now get a load of this back door. What do you guys think about this back door, honestly? We do see that kind of in the crossover look from different manufacturers, but it's a pretty big back door if you ask me. And come in just to get a load of that look. That glass kind of comes out pretty cool. And you got that kind of, this should be like the quarter panel glass itself. But what do you guys, look, sport back model, well, sport bike model, sport back themed, kind of giving you that aggressive drive me now look. The, the um, spoiler up top with the integrated lighting with that black trim coming down that rear glass. 
Hornet and the black gloss with the D GT, letting you know what trim model you have. And then we left the hazards with the LED tail lights and going across, you get that uh, tail light itself also. Pretty, uh, I, I am a fan of the uh, bars, the tail light bars. Now this is where people say they kind of resembles that Porsche Macan look from down here, giving you that lighting. I don't see it, but hey, you guys leave it in the comment section below. What do you guys think? Now, camera is integrated above license plate area. Bumper sensors are on the back bumper cover. Finishing off with that matte black plastic. Now, where is our tailpipe? You get literally two tailpipes. They are being hidden, giving it more of a kind of a minimalist look. You got that one pipe here and then another pipe on the side. So you literally have a dual pipe on or dual muffler tip pipe on this Dodge Hornet. Now let's go ahead and come into the cargo area and talk cargo. Automatic lift gate, but get a load of that area on the cargo. Now, yes, already from the look of it, it is kind of small and petite, let's just say, but cargo area with the seats up are about 27 cubic feet of space and about 54 cubic feet of space with that second row down. You got the soft yellow lighting, on the right and the left, your 12 volt outlet here on the pad, the driver's side. Let's go ahead and lift this mat. Here goes your tire situation going on and some more personal space. You could actually literally support that up because they have these things, little shock absorbers or whatever you wanna call those that kinda assist that mat to stay up. Now, how do we drop those back seats, everybody? We are dropping those from the inside of the car, right here near your shoulders. I'm gonna get you guys kind of an idea. Now, those buttons are up there, so it's gonna be kind of hard to reach if you have this cover up, okay? Now you do have the automatic button that will close this tailgate, okay? Now, we're done talking about some specs, some exterior showing, and cargo area. Let's go ahead and talk interior. So now, let's talk interior of the 2023 GT Plus trim of the Dodge Hornet. And let's go ahead and start this car so you guys get an idea. I want you guys to pay attention to how the screens look as you're starting. Your start and stop button is right here. And this is the way it looks. Let's go ahead and turn that volume down so you guys get an idea, welcome. It's literally telling us welcome driver one. But get a load of the full digital cockpit cluster and that infotainment screen. So they do put that tech inside this car. So they're keeping up with the times coming into this market of like that full futuristic feel inside the Dodge Hornet. Now, let's start talking interior with starting with the door panel, okay? If we come over to the door panel, we have a few things going on. We got that leather armrest and that red stitching the control unit for your window and your side mirrors. These side mirrors do come automatic foldable by that button right there. Very tiny buttons there, so you have to be very careful of not pressing, you know, two buttons at once. You have the Harman Kardon and the premium sound here at the GT Plus trim. Up to three settings for memory on your uh, driver's seat. Unlock lock button, and this is your handle. Check how nice and sleek that handle looks with that textured kind of trim and that darker gray look. Very cool. Seats themselves do come heated and ventilated leather dressed seats in the perforated look. Eight way adjustable seats, front driver and front passenger with the four way lumbar uh, adjustable option too. Check out that, they put some more character in with their emblem on that headrest. Now in front of the driver, what do we see? We got that leather wrapped steering wheel in the heated steering, the sport button here on the left. So if I go ahead and press that sport button, look, look what happens, it literally, drops it into sport, letting you know, giving you that more aggressive, showing you that the Dodge Hornet is ready to go. And it kind of gives it a red theme on that drive with a little Hornet sign there. It's very cool. You got a lot of info going on. Let's go ahead and press that sport back. And it literally goes back to normal. And something that I want to show you guys that is uh, very, um, very interesting, or I would say, I don't know how to feel about it, but see how it has just literally the zero in the number. 
But when you're actually driving the car itself, the numbers show up as you're driving. So let's say I'm doing 10 miles an hour, the 10 mile an hour shows up. Let's say I'm coming up to 20, the 20 starts to show or the 40 starts to show. As you're literally driving it, giving it more of that kind of minimalist, simple look, not much going on. So that is pretty cool. On the left-hand side of the driver steering column, it is a manual steering column. You have your lighting knob and your tailgate lift button, okay? You can control that cockpit cluster and the info card by the buttons here. Let's go ahead and show you guys that. Just wanted to show you guys what the info card looks. We go into the navigation option. There it goes, right there. Slightly lags a little bit, okay? Now you can go ahead, click that. You can zoom in on that navigation or zoom out, things of that sort. Infotainment, you have the little, uh, the little icons there letting you know heated and ventilated seats you can go ahead and tap that mess with the vent seat the heated steering wheel heated seat all that and then you can come into like your apps media comfort control all that and then come into a full navi screen wanted to show you guys like to do that in my video so you guys get an idea of what that full navigation screen looks like okay vehicle let's go into a little bit good surround camera this is what it looked like, bird's eye view, 360, different angles, all right? And then come out, that X button up top. And we could actually turn that screen off if it's bugging you at night, okay? Apple CarPlay, Android Auto Assist, dropping down or continue forward, you also have your manual buttons for your temperature controls, not just up here, but also down here. Wireless charging pad, USB-C and USB-A plug-in with the 12 volt outlet your automatic engine off and on button. This is your key fob. This is what the new Dodge Hornet key fobs look like. All right. And volume button, turn it off. You're turning off your media. That is a very convenient for your parking brake, your traction control on and off button and parking sensors, cup holders with some more personal cubby room above the center council. We got that glass that goes literally in between the second and first row seating. I probably would have liked to see that glass go all the way over to the second row, giving it more kind of that uh, luxurious feel, and those second row seaters can get that same feel. You can control that electric sun visor by this button. All right, so that's pretty cool that they actually have an electric sun visor, and it's a tilt slide sunroof option. It literally opens up, so it's a huge glass that pulls back, okay? In front of that passenger seat, straight to the point glove compartment, pretty big. Let's close that up. Want you guys to pay attention to the look on the vents with the black gloss and the silver going around with these little cute knobs that literally will open and close your vents, okay? Just be careful to not break those. Uh, not a soft touch dash, so this is a pretty hard plastic, okay? Now that we're pretty much done with the front side of this new 2023 Hornet, let's go ahead and show you guys second row. All right, second row seating we left down so you guys get an idea of all that space that comes in. Now you probably could fit like a dishwasher back here. I can attest for that because I've done it before in cars that have this much room. Or if you wanna drop uh, bikes or skis or snowboards, this being the all wheel drive standard Hornet. Now they literally come standard all wheel drive. You can open up this cap here and have kind of a go through for you know skis or things of that sort or something longer, fishing poles. Pop this 60 percenter up. There goes your armrest, 40 percenter. Your armrest with your cup holders, simple, straight to the point. The same look with the leather dress, perforated look and that dark gray stitching. Let's go ahead and jump inside the car. Now, I'm about six feet, two inches. Legroom is completely clear, but the headroom, my hair is slightly touching that top liner for anybody who'd like to know. Now, because of the sport back feel, I would say that that's why you're kind of feeling that up top liner. The LED lighting here in the back and that kind of black gloss, very kind of classy feel on that lighting system. In front of us, we got the pockets on the back of those front seats, USB-C and a USB-A plug-in. Kind of interesting that they only put one in one of each. So get ready, if you got more than two passengers, you're gonna want each person to have a different USB plug-in. And the door panels kind of looking the same, coming in from the front over to the back in that kind of sporty, aggressive look. Now guys, what do you guys think about this all new 2023 Hornet in this crossover feel? 
coming in on the market here at Dodge after 10 years offering a different model. That is very cool and interesting. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But if you guys do have any comments, questions, concerns, leave also in the comment section below. We'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. As promised, here's the MSRP sticker to the Dodge Hornet so you guys get an idea of exactly what it comes with and the price tag on top. We appreciate you guys watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds. Stay tuned. We have more cool things coming. Thanks, guys, and God bless you.